In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the tape simulator to add analog warmth to your drum tracks. We'll go into the clean kits menu. We'll grab the Premier Default Kit. I have some grooves from the Superior Drummer 3 Core MIDI library, and we have a clear mixer with some bus routing for each instrument. I'm going to select all of the bus channels, and then I'll go to one of the channels, and I will choose the tape simulator from the distortion category. This will place the tape simulator on all selected tracks. Now we'll leave this in the default state, and let's just take a listen to what that does to our mix. So the tape simulator adds a bit of drive, and because of the speed, the default speed of the tape simulator, it warms up the track a bit, so it subdues a bit of that high end, and we're bringing in a little bit more low end as well. With all of the bus channels selected, I'm gonna go into the channel effects menu and say clear effects. Then I'm going to use the undo and redo feature so we can compare what the track sounds like with and without the default tape simulator applied. Now, if that's too much of a change, we can lower the drive on the tape simulator. We'll start with a fresh slate here. We'll add an instance of the tape simulator to the kick bus. We'll leave everything in the default settings, but we'll set the drive to six. And then I'm just going to copy this plugin instance, the tape simulator plugin, to all of the other bus channels. I can do this with a simple option or alt drag. Now what we can also do is add the tape simulator to the output within Superior Drummer 3. Now when doing this, because we're dealing with the output channel, the effects will be much more profound. So you may need to dial back the drive a bit. Let's take a listen to what it sounds like with the default settings and with the tape simulator added to each of the instrument bus channels. I will also delete them so you can hear how everything sounds with just the tape simulator on the output. And once again, with the tape simulator on the output channel, if it's too much, we can dial it back. So I'll turn the drive down a few dB. So just by adding the tape simulator to instrument channels, they could be individual mic channels, or like we did in this case, instrument bus channels, and also by adding the tape simulator to the output channel. You have a lot of options to change the sound of your drums. Add some analog warmth, add some of that low-end tape presence. Any of the settings we just covered, you can combine in a variety of ways to quickly come up with creative drum sounds.